In this video, we're going to count down the top five health benefits of drinking whiskey. And some of these findings will really surprise you. So let's start by posing a question. Which is better for you, total abstinence from alcohol or moderate consumption of alcohol? And it turns out that total abstinence actually has many drawbacks, whereas moderate alcohol consumption is actually better for you than zero alcohol. So if we put the medical consensus together, we get this table. So obviously heavy drinking is exceedingly unhealthy and slashes your life expectancy. Alcohol is a dangerous drug and if not consumed responsibly, ruins lives and decimates your health. However, surprisingly, those who have a low alcohol consumption actually have a slightly higher life expectancy than those that drink nothing at all. A good example of this is research from Cambridge University who found that compared to those who drink only a little, people who drink at the current UK guidelines suffer no overall harm in terms of death rates and have 20% fewer heart attacks. And this brings us on nicely to our first health benefit of whiskey, which, which is that moderate whiskey consumption has been shown to have cardiac health benefits. And it all comes down to chemistry. Respiration in the body produces chemicals called free radicals. These are not good for you. Antioxidants, on the other hand, are good for you as they mop up these free radicals. And research from the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that consumption of whiskey increases phenol levels. Now, phenol is a chemical that looks like this, and it reacts with the free radicals and effectively gets rid of them. Now, if putting this all together, we get the conclusion of the paper, which found that moderate alcohol usage and increased antioxidant intake decreases the risk of coronary heart disease. And that lets us move on to the second one, which is linked to this and probably comes as no surprise, which is that drinking whiskey can be a way to cut calories. So if you're in a bar and you have a choice, you can either drink a pint of beer or a dram of whiskey. The beer contains 215 calories, while the whiskey contains only 55 calories. In other words, swapping a beer for a whiskey reduces your calorie intake by a whopping 74.4%. And on a similar note, and coming in at number three, we have that whiskey can be used to fight diabetes. So if you look at the graph here, and this comes from the research, you'll find a very curious relationship between alcohol and diabetes. You will see that as you increase your alcohol consumption from nothing to a little, your risk of diabetes actually decreases. And this is backed up by the Drink Aware charity, who stated that drinking three units a day reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes by 40% for women and 13% for men. However, alcohol is a double-edged sword. If you consume high amounts of alcohol, your diabetes risk goes through the roof, which reinforces my constant reminder about moderation. And also backing up this research, from 2010, we find that alcohol consumption reduces the incidence of type 2 diabetes. However, binge drinking seems to increase the incidence. So a few whiskeys every week is probably good for you, but a bottle a week is exceedingly bad for you. Now, moving on to number four, we find that whiskey is good for preventing blood clotting. This comes back to our previous look at the chemicals in whiskey. Research has shown that certain chemicals found in whiskey are good at promoting good cholesterol and reducing platelet aggregation. So good cholesterol up, platelet aggregation going down. And so combined, this may lead to a small decrease in blood clot risk. However, alcoholic drinks are high in triglycerides, which are very bad for your cholesterol. So it's best to limit consumption and avoid adding mixtures to your drinks. And finally, finally, finishing off our list at number five, we have some evidence that whiskey may help reduce the risk of dementia, which is very surprising. And again, this comes down to the chemicals found in whiskey. This, there is some evidence that phytochemicals, like those found in whiskey, may have neuroprotective properties. WebMD summarized the findings of the study in Old Germans, which found that a 60% decrease in dementia happened for those that were moderate drinkers compared to non-drinkers. This research has prompted other academics 
to argue that perhaps current drinking guidelines for older people should be changed. And so this brings us to the end of our list. We've went ran through some amazing health benefits that whiskey has, and I hope this has surprised you. Um, I would advise you to make sure you drink responsibly. These only work for moderate to low consumption, high consumption, all the health benefits are gone and you get into dangerous territories. So don't forget to subscribe. And finally, thank you very much for watching.